Uh, I think uh, I'll see if you want to want to drink. She's reading the story. That's why she may want to drink. <laughs> she wasn't no such thing, Dad. Then I, I want to drink. No, not even five times. Okay, then let's go watch the, the, the Red Sox play. The, watch the Red Sox on TV. Then he stop. Stop what? Avoid me. Every second I ride, we haven't been able to talk. Good Lord, what you talking about? Seems to me everyone was talking continuously and simultaneously from the moment you got off that plane. Alone, Daddy. I've been alone, you know. Okay. We'll talk right here in the dining room. It's a nice place to talk. As a matter of fact, I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. I love this room. I always love it. Yeah. You and your mother, me and your mother, still use it once in a while. Mrs. Robinson comes in and she cooks us a nice meal. Some broilers. I love them, Daddy. That sounds a little complicated. It is, Dad. And yes. This new man of yours, are you planning on marrying him? No, he already married. Oh. Your husband's probably falling in love with someone? No, Dad, he lived with someone. And, and, and your, your children, my grandchildren, they come and go among these various Various households? Yes, sort of. Here's uh, someone out there. Someone else? Yes, I involved with someone else. And it's not working. I don't know who I am. I I gotta touch base, Dad. That's why I wanna be here. I I need, I need to come home. No one stuck all over again. Let's go find your mother and have a nice cocktail. Maybe we can get the kids to stand, stand still, stay still while we're doing it. What do you think? You don't want us here to do that. Of course we do. We, 10 days, you're most welcome. Honey, you're most welcome. I cannot go back, Dad. Neither can I, sweetheart. Neither can I. 